Hi everybody. All right, it's me again. All right, tuning in with our today. I'm going to be doing salads on today. Uh, again, it's not because you don't know how, but uh, sometimes I like to look and just get ideas from other recipes. Uh, I'm going to be doing a potato salad and a macaroni salad, which is again, very, uh, if you can prep everything in advance, it doesn't take long. My granddaughter again is with me, but I'm going to do the potato salad and the macaroni salad. I barred my potatoes already and I kind of diced them. I don't like my potatoes too big and I don't like them mushy, but everybody have their own opinion and their own likes. Okay, so I've already uh, prepped my potatoes. I'm gonna saw it off, I usually, if I'm gonna do it overnight, and I did not do it overnight, I usually take and uh, put my mayonnaise in it and let it set overnight. But I didn't, so I'm gonna just start from the beginning. I'm going to add my uh, mayonnaise to them. Uh, I use about four medium-sized potatoes, and this is enough, I would say, for about eight servings. This potato salad will be for about eight servings. And I'm gonna put, I put in here about a cup of mayonnaise. And then I'm gonna put a cup of Miracle Whip. I don't just use the mayonnaise, I use the Miracle Whip also in here. With it, it gives it a little bit more of the sweet taste to it, of the Miracle Whip, it does. I have my season already chopped. In my season, it consists of the celery, or it consists of the, uh, um, a little bell pepper. It's an option if you like bell pepper or not. Onion, I use is more, about three stalks of our green onion and about a half of our regular onion. And I take and mix that up add my season in there. Okay. And for my uh, potato salad, I add a little of the pimentos. And the reason I add that, it's not much taste to it, but it gives it a good color. Uh, if you don't have that, you can take and uh, shed some carrots and add the carrots. But it's just for the color to give it uh, a pretty color. And you can also use the red bell pepper to add to that also. And I'm gonna add my radish. I prefer the sweet radish, but you don't have to. You can use the dale radish if you prefer. I use this about a half a cup of radish for the servings of eight, or for potatoes for about the servings of eight. Then I use this about four eggs. I chop my eggs and it's up to you. Some of them like them real small, but I like the egg for to get the taste of the egg and also to see the egg. And you don't have to wonder if this potato salad consists of egg. I uh, like the egg in my potato salad. And for about four medium potatoes, I'm using four eggs. And it's up to you. Maybe you don't want four eggs or maybe you want more eggs. So I take and I, sliced them and then I chopped also the eggs. And I are to for this I'm make I'm using four eggs chopped up or sliced either way you want to use them or do them. Again or uh, it's up to you. What really makes the potato salad some people like it real soft as a mashed potato. I prefer not I like, and I like my potatoes done, well done. I don't like the really chunky, medium done potatoes. So I cook them, I borrow them until I can just take and test them by sticking a butter knife or something straight through them. And then I know that they're, they're done enough and they're, they're gonna be okay. Okay, and then I mix this together this is a season, 
the mayonnaise, the salad dressing, and the um, the reddish. And if you see that you need more of the dressing, you can always add more of the dressing. Uh, you, what you don't want is a dry potato salad. And then I like uh, really to my dressing and my potato salad and everything in it. Um, I sometimes use a little mustard in the potato salad. Not really enough that you can really taste, but enough to kind of give it a, a little color to it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna use mustard. Some people prefer not, but I do. And then I'm gonna use seasoned salt in my, I use the seasoned salt in my potato salad. So again, you can season it to taste. I try to use white pepper in my potato salad. And I noticed I did not have my white pepper. So I'm gonna just use our black pepper. black pepper instead. But I use the white pepper. It's a little hotter than the black pepper, but our, it doesn't show up. Cause sometimes people just look at the, the pepper and think that it's just too much pepper for them. So our, this is our, my potato salad. I also take and I use this, our tablespoon, our teaspoon full of sugar that I take and I uh, just sprinkle over the top and that takes the, uh, gives the potatoes a little bit or different taste. Takes so, so much freshness out of the potatoes. So this is our, the potato salad, uh, completed the potato salad in the bowl over there. Um, if you want to, you can sprinkle the little one, the small one, paprika over it, which paprika doesn't have a taste, but it's just added decorations. And you can also take an arm, um, cut up your, some uh, extra egg or something, chopped egg and put it over it, which is adding the decoration. It's always good to dress up your food after you cooked it. And if I was entertaining, I would probably take the lettuce leaf and make a bed to put my potato salad on it. So, but I'm not uh, using the paprika. I'm not using the egg. But this is the potato salad. special out of it. Again, if you pref you like to, you could use or put a little mustard over it, um, which just adds to the color. Okay, this is the, uh, the color of it. I can't get to my refrigerator without the mustard, but if you just add a little bit of mustard, but you can see the, the texture of it, which is real good, a good textures of it and it's really not dry and you can see the color it's very colorful you can see the green you can see the red panettos in it and you can also see the egg in it i mean a beautiful potato salad you can add more eggs to it or now you can even purchase the egg potato salad but i put only four eggs in here but you can either add more or you can add less in it but it's a beautiful color, not dry. It's not dry and it's uh, good. Your potato salad, you can keep it, you know, you it, cover it good when you make it and you could keep it for two or three days if it's covered real good. Now I'm gonna just sprinkle a little mustard over it and I'm going to stir it and, and um, just to give it a little bit more color. And this is the potato salad, a very easy dish if you have everything already prepped. And, then, and again, just making it for fun. Most everybody make potato salad. And, but sometimes we just like to look and pick up something from somebody else.
my kid, one of them might say, who, who doesn't know how to make potato salad? I think everybody knows how, but it's just good to, to look in and maybe add something to your recipe that makes it even better. Okay, now we're gonna go to our macaroni salad. When I'm doing salads for occasions, I usually chop up all of my seasoning. So, which I did with this, and I also borrowed my, I use the small elbow noodles, or you can use the salad noodles. And I put them and I borrowed them in advance. So I got them already, already borrowed. And I'm going to take, and I'm going, again, Add, up, add my season, the same season that I use for the potato salad. I'm going to add the season two for my macaroni salad, which was about, uh, for each salad was about two stalks of celery, the green onion, about three stalks of the green onion, or half of a regular onion, and uh, a small piece of bell pepper, which is an option. And I'm gonna add my salad, my dress, my season to this. This is my macaroni salad. I'm gonna add it to that. I'm going to add the pimentos also to the uh, macaroni salad. Again, just to make it pretty. They don't have much of a taste to it but it's just to add a little color for, to it and make it make it real pretty. For my potato salad, I added about a cup of radish. So for the macaroni salad, I'm about a half a cup of radish, I'm sorry for the potato salad. For the macaroni salad, I'm going to just estimate about a fourth of a cup of radish for the macaroni salad. I'm not adding as much uh, radish to the macaroni salad as I did the potato salad. Okay, that takes care of the radish for the macaroni salad. For the macaroni salad, I have a, a two, per, two, five, two and a quarter can of sliced olives. And I'm gonna add that, you put, I put olives in my macaroni salad. I don't use the olives for my potato salad. So I'm gonna add this half a can um, olives to my salad. Okay, that takes care of that. For my macaroni salad, whereas I added a cup of Miracle Whip for my macaroni salad, I'm going to add a cup and a half of Miracle Whip for my, I'm sorry, I added a cup for my uh, potato salad, but I'm going to add a cup, estimate a cup and a half of Miracle Whip for my macaroni salad. I'm going to cut down on the, um, the mayonnaise and increase it with the Miracle Whip. The macaroni salad has more of a little sweet taste than the uh, potato salad. So if I'm gonna add a cup and a half of Miracle Whip, I'm going to uh, add less potato or uh, less mayonnaise. I'm going to add a half a cup of mayonnaise for my uh, macaroni salad. Again, you can uh, give it the texture that you want. And you can, if you want it real watery or if you want it just whole and firm, or if you see it sometimes they have the macaroni salad with all the macaroni standing apart from each other, it's up to you. I'm gonna add, again, four eggs for this. Macaroni goes a little further than potato salad. I think this is our, our the two pound box, 
look at that box and see what it was. I think mm -hmm. it was the box in there. The two pound macaroni salad to feed at least, um, I would say about 12 or more peepers. And maybe uh, with this here, it goes much further. That box in there. Oh, it's in the box over there. Um, it's easier to make than the potato salad because you don't have to peel the potatoes. So it's much easier to make than the potato salad. I'm sorry, it was only one pound of macarons for this year, but it but this is enough to serve at least 12 or more people. This salad is here. I'm adding four, four boiled eggs. I'm adding to this. And again, I'm slicing them and chopping them. So you can not only see the eggs or taste the eggs, but you can look and see that there it is egg into this salad. So this consists of, again, the macaronis. I use the small elbow noodles. And um, my season was the celery, the small amount of bell pepper, the onions, and I do use the green onions and the reddish, the olives, the pimentos, are uh, and a little reddish that went in here. Again, if you had the white peppers, you can use the white pepper. I don't have the white pepper, so I'm using a black pepper. I'm gonna season with the season salt. For all my salads, I like to use season salt. Or uh, I prefer the lorry season salt. Again, you can seize it to your taste. But when I'm boiling my water for my salt, my macaroni, I always add a little salt in there. So which means that I don't need much extra salt added to it. Again, I take and I use, this, I'm gonna use a teaspoon full of sugar over the top of it. And then it's time to mix it together. I, um, I think sometimes I believe more people prefer the macaroni salad than the potato salad. I prefer the potato salad. But, um, so I'm gonna mix it together. Again, the potatoes is really standing way out. The black olives is standing out. And this is only one pound of macaroni. <coughs> I like my macaroni to stand together. I don't like them separated. So if I see that I don't have enough dressing in it, I go back and use more dressing to put it in it. But uh, you want all of your macaroni to be covered. Uh, you want it all to be standing together. Uh, you want to make sure your season is going over. So I use it mix my make my salad in a larger bowl. This could have been a larger bowl for this. So I can mix it real good and get all the season. Make sure it's covering real good. So this is coming out real good with the uh seem like it's just enough salad dressing added to it. Again, season it to taste. You can always add your season, add your salt and pepper. But if you put too much in it, it you can't take it out. So uh, this is very easy when you have prepped everything and got all your season are uh, chopped in advance. Uh, if to dress it up after you complete it, you can put the paprika on top. You can cover with some olives, on, the black olives on top. You can slice the egg on top if you want to dress it up for your entertainment. Give me the other bowl. So, so. Again, not doing this because- And add to mine and make a better salad. So it's beautiful with the red pimentos. And it doesn't matter how many you put in there, because again, I stated 
it, it's not in the taste. It's not gonna do anything with the taste. It's just adding the color to it, so, which makes it real pretty. And if you don't have it, again, you can shed some carrot and put it in, and you're not gonna be tasting the carrots. It's just gonna give it a pretty color. Your eggs is an option. Or if somebody's allergic to eggs, anything that's an option, you don't have to use the eggs. Okay, I'm gonna transfer my bowl. Again, I would just like to use our extra bowl to get back on. Okay, we are finished with the macaroni salad. If you look at it, it's a good texture. Or uh, I would think just the monomotic or dressing. The color is beautiful. You can see the black olives and you can see the red bell peppers and you can see the reddish. You can see that it's really loaded. Again, I'd say you can feed about 12, but if you look at that, this is only one pound of macaroni. You could feed more than 12. I would say about 20 or something with that. It goes a long ways. Goes a long ways. Much easier to make than the potato salad. Uh, pretty much the same ingredients. So this is it for today. Again, we want to thank you for like and <laughs> sharing and subscribing. Sharing and subscribing. Okay. Again, um, this is it for today. I'm excited um, that you're tuning in. This is just for a little old lady just trying to do something in spare time. Uh, again, enjoy. Bye-bye.